What's up, Barbara Squad? How are you guys doing? I know that it's been a very long time since I've been on YouTube or on my channel. But anyways, today I'm going to be definitely sharing some tea with you. Catching you up on everything that's been going on with me and all the good is, or details basically. So the good and the bad. As you guys already know, that's what I do. So here we go. Anyway, um, basically, since I posted a, my last video for you guys, um, giving you an update on everything, um, I've had some big things happen since that time frame, since last time and now, in between now. Uh, so yes, um, you all knew from previously uh, that I had a court hearing date coming up and August 1st came and is now August 7th, so I'm completely sorry for being late on this video. Um, so yes, I did have my disability, dis social security disability hearing for my case uh, to be approved or not. Let me tell you that that day, August 1st, it was on a Thursday in the morning at 10 a.m. So I, it was just craziness. It really was. I was so scared and it was just insane to be in that courtroom giving my testimony and having to just be in the presence of the judge and my lawyer and the clerk and uh, the actual unemployment office uh, assistant that they had there to be accounted for to have his statement put into the, my case as well. So there was a lot going on. Um, basically everything I got, sadly my lawyer told me before, a couple minutes before we went into my actual court hearing, um, that I, of course, of course guys, me, me, I would get the one, one judge that isn't very easy to, uh, to be around basically she I was told that she does not like you to stall on your questions that you have to be on point she doesn't like you to you know get off subject and she, that she was just basically not a very easy person to speak in front of so of course after him telling me that I went I just started to freak out even more my anxiety got worse I was just panicking and let me tell you the night before I actually went to my court hearing date and I am going to tell you guys this tip right now and it's very important for you to do that especially for those that have memory problems like myself that with that come along with fibromyalgia um, make a list a little note get like an index note card write down your key little points that you want to you want to address in your interview um, and your statement so you don't get lost you don't forget everything you know that you deal with symptom wise you know pain and all that stuff because unfortunately i got in there and i blanked i literally blanked on every single symptom and every single problem and challenge that i have and i literally blanked so of course because i didn't listen to myself and make that index card which i totally recommend you guys to do if you have your court hearing update or your court hearing coming up soon please make sure that you do that for those of you that again do have memory problems because it will help you trust me and i wish i had listened to myself but of course i didn't so yes unfortunately i didn't get to say all that i wanted to say um because it all came to me after i had left the courthouse so yes lesson learned uh, so that is a good tip for you guys to also do, and it is extremely helpful. Um, but I went through the whole thing, um, the experience listening to the city unemployment people telling me the list of jobs that I can qualify for, um, just after giving my statement on my disabilities and what I'm not able to do and how life is a, you know, daily struggle for me and all that stuff. It was just overall a very stressful situation. And uh, at, right now, again, again, I'm stuck on a waiting period. I have to, it could be between anywhere from two to three months before I actually receive a final wording and, and call or judgment on if I'm gonna be approved or not. So basically I'm supposed to receive a letter in the mail from the judge giving her 
you know, her answer. So, you know, it, it's, it, it sucks that unfortunately I wasn't able to get an answer right then and there. I was really hoping for that. Some people do get answers right away. Um, some don't. Unfortunately, I'm in that category. So now I have to wait again. Um, it's just more stressful waiting to find out if I'm going to be approved or not. And I didn't have the easiest court hearing date, especially with, you know, just the judge in general being the way that she was. She was a very nice woman. Yes, I understand. She was very direct. She was doing her job as all government officials do. Um, but my lawyer did tell me that out of all the years that he has, you know, gone before her with other clients, um, she has never ever or he has never ever seen this judge get along with someone so well. So basically the judge liked me at the end of the day. And maybe that's a good thing. Maybe that will help my case. But also too, I am that I'm a person that literally has disabilities and I'm not able to do the normal daily life that everyone is able to do because of my health issues. And it sucks because a lot of people out there abuse the system and which have caused a huge problem for those people like myself who are trying to get social security disability benefits because of their stupid mistakes. And it sucks because we're paying the price for other people's stupidity out there and for lying and just, you know, manipulating the system, which is not right to do. If you don't have a disability, you shouldn't be receiving benefits. Period. Simple as that, guys. And it sucks for us because we do suffer with chronic pain every single day. Memory problems, chronic widespread pain, uh, we deal with headaches, you know, cold and flu symptoms, back pain, uh, joint pain, stiffness, so much we deal with on a daily basis. And it sucks because we're not able to get that recognition of being actually classified as a disability. So yes, guys, that is the tea that I wanted to spill for you guys to let you know exactly what's been going on with me and since what happened or basically what happened with my court hearing date, because I'm sure you all want to know exactly how it goes and all that. It's a very stressful situation, but again, please make sure that you do that index card little tip or writing down your key points, you know, all your symptoms and all the things that you basically struggle with. But most importantly, when giving a description about like, okay, what are your limited, limited, limitations, if I'm saying that right, guys, limitations on like weight, how much weight can you lift, how long you can walk, how long you can drive, how long you can stand, please make sure all you include that time frame into your notes so you do have that to state that clearly because you will be asked those questions. And I, I wish you guys all the best in the world and luck. I am sending all my prayers and love and good vibes towards all of you guys out there that are going through that, that crazy time right now where you're going to have your court hearing date. It is not an easy thing, but you know what? Stay calm, stay positive, and just know that you are not the only one out there who is literally trying to get the help that we need. So yes, guys, um, things have been crazy for me. But also too, I have more tea to spill for you and sadly it's kind of a big deal. Um, you all knew that I was told that I had a heart murmur, right? Okay, well, sadly I went to my primary care physician to have blood work drawn or drawn so I could um, adjust my, my antidepressant that I take for my depression. Um, you guys all know that I suffer with anxiety and depression as well. And um, so I did some blood work, I got it done, I got the results back, and sadly one day, ring ring, I got a phone call from my doctor, the primary care doctor, told me that she wanted to see me right away and that they wouldn't tell me the results over the phone. So that is never really a good thing when you wanna hear, especially when you hear the doctor wants to see you right away. Um, sometimes, you know, it's nothing, but most of the time that means that something's up. Well, something was up. So I got to my appointment. I went to go see her the next following day after I was told that I needed to come in. Um, and I found out that my cholesterol 
basically all my cholesterol levels. And I think there's three different categories of cholesterol levels that they do blood work on or, you know, want to check in that area. So basically, it, it came back really bad. So I am now on a certain medication to bring down my cholesterol level. Um, and I'm having to change my diet. I am now four, three, three and a half, four weeks into my diet. And um, it is very nerve wracking. Uh, the medication is horrible, even though it is the lowest dosage possible to have. Um, I am having severe nausea. It is horrible. It makes me sick. It makes me dizzy. Um, but if I want to be able to live, then I need to bring down my cholesterol levels. So I have three months, three months to actually get that lowered before I have my next blood work drawn again to see where I'm at and to basically go back to seeing my primary care doctor. So things are not looking good for me right now, guys. Um, I have been very sick for days, literally days. Today is the very first day that I have not felt nauseated or dizzy or lightheaded and just feeling miserable because of the medication that they just put me on for that. So I wanted to do this video for you guys to let you know exactly what was going on and you know everything about my court hearing date and all the stress that went involved with it and basically again I'm at a waiting period to find out the news about that. Stay tuned for that video. Um, I do want it when I do get the letter whenever it does come in the mail uh, I, I plan on actually opening it up with you guys on camera to receive the news together so um yes please for those of you that do pray please pray for me um and i am praying for you guys out there and hoping that you guys get approved for your social security disability benefits because i i'm truly needing it guys i really am um just because things are coming to a closing end almost with my divorce and uh, you guys all know that I'm going I'm officially already a single mom technically divorced mom um, and I'm scared I'm nervous because I don't really know if I'm going to win spousal support in court um, you all know that I'm not able to physically work a normal nine-to-five job um, just like you guys aren't able to so please pray for me guys and please pray that I'm able to get, the judge is going to approve my case and I'm going to be able to receive benefits because it truly is going to help me. Um, yeah guys, uh, I, things are crazy right now. The amount of stress that I've been under, I have been eating poorly, which is horrible to say that I've been doing that, but you, I, you can't blame me really because it all, I guess you can. I can blame myself. I do blame myself and I hold myself accountable for what I did because I shouldn't have been eating the way I was, but I was stressed out. And you know, when everything looks good when you're stressed out, so you eat everything. And I did, unfortunately, and that was a big no-no. So now I'm paying the ultimate price for that. So learn from me, guys. If you're in a stressful situation like myself with divorce and becoming a single parent, and you're dealing with social security disability and all this craziness in the world, just remember that, yeah, you're stressed out, but you really don't need to eat everything that you see in sight that looks delicious or is easy to get you know and make or whatever no fast food or anything like that guys you need to stay healthy and i need to stay healthy so we definitely need to do that for you know for ourselves and for our kids so yes guys i have been gone again and i know i am really sorry that i haven't been posting as much as i have been and it's just been crazy because you all know when you get a new medication put into your regimen your body is going to react to it a certain way and you don't know how that's going to go so i've been nauseated miserable and stressed out to you know you couldn't believe how much stress i've been out or under but I'm working on it. It's a work in progress, guys. That's just life. So, yes, guys, things have been a little bit nutty for me, but I am still around, and I plan on definitely revealing to you exactly what happens and when I get that letter from the judge. So, yes, uh, I plan, stay tuned for that video when I open it. That will definitely be, you know, coming up hopefully soon, sooner than later, hopefully, fingers crossed, and prayers. 
Um, but yes guys, things are just moving along here for me and I'm just trying to deal with daily life and uh, I, if you guys do notice that I am a little bit more happier, that's just because I've kind of been doing things for myself now. Um, now that I have a, a car to do that, I have more freedom and I'm not stuck inside of a house all the time. So it is nice and it is nice for the days that I am able to get out of the home that I am able to do that without having to, you know, ask someone to give me a ride or to try to figure something out so where I can get into town to do some things that I need to do for myself. So yes, it is nice to have that freedom back. It really is. And I'm so forever blessed and thankful to my parents for surprising me on Mother's Day with a brand new car. I am truly, truly thankful for them and everything that they do and have done for me. And I love you, Mom and Dad. Thanks for giving my freedom back for me. So until next time, guys, and I promise I will be back much sooner than later. I promise. It's just things that you all know have been very crazy for me. So until next time, Fibro Squad. Please, if you're new to my channel, please make sure to subscribe, hit the notification bell button so you're updated all the time when I post my videos like this one. And if you want to follow me on social media, you can follow me on Instagram at Motherhood with Fibro, all one word. And please, my Fibro Squad, please give this video a big thumbs up. Please share with others and please leave a comment letting me know how you enjoy my videos. And if you have any other tips that you would like to provide for any other Fibro Squad member, leave it down below in the comment section. So until next time, guys, I love you, Fibro Squad, and I will see you guys very soon. I promise. Bye, guys.